Bangladesh is a country of 180 million people, but fewer than 23,000 are Adventists. That's one Adventist for every 8,000 people in Bangladesh. The challenge of reaching the people of Bangladesh for Jesus seems impossible, but Ajoy Kayang believes that with God's help, even one person can make a difference. Ajoy Kayang is a global mission pioneer in rural Bangladesh and has worked with the villagers in his region for several years. When he first came, the people held tightly to their traditional religious beliefs, but Ajoy prayed that the people would let go of their gods and rituals and learn about Jesus. How would God answer Ajoy's prayers? The villagers get their drinking water from the same river where they wash their clothes and bathe. So it was no surprise to Ajoy when the villagers became sick with diseases such as diarrhea, malaria, and cholera. With no medical services nearby, the villagers grew desperate to find a cure for their symptoms. When Ajoy saw how seriously ill the villagers were, he called them to meet in the church to pray every day. At the end of the week of prayer, Ajoy noticed that many of the sick were recovering. They could also see the healing. As a result, many asked to follow Jesus. Today, most of the villagers are Christians, but even though they have received the opportunity for spiritual healing, they remain in need of resources to guarantee a dignified life. The villagers are poor and illiterate, but they have hope for a better life for their children. They want to build a school and find a teacher to educate their children to read and write so they can study the Bible and have a better life. And they want to dig a well to have safe drinking water. A joy is grateful to be a part of God's global mission pioneer team. We are part of that same team. For our faithful promise offerings, support the work of global mission pioneers in more than 100 countries. Our promise offerings help spread God's message of love to people who do not yet know Jesus. When we propose a determined percentage of our income to be regularly given to God as promise offering, it may not represent a large offering, but when it is combined with the giving of many others around the world, a constant flow of resources will be sent as God blesses us, and it will water the seed of the gospel that has been planted by our faithful missionaries. As we return our tithe and promise offering, we allow God to work through us, encircling the globe with the three angels' messages. May we put our desires last and God first.